What up, YouTube? Welcome back, Chucky Boy Customs. Big C, chilling. We out here again on the 350, the 350Z Part Three. So last night, Cody came over and we did a little something, something. We didn't really film it too much. <clears throat> it was a little bit later on in the day, and we didn't break out the camera. But just to catch all up, we uh, got the fender off on the passenger side. We got the shield and the exhaust manifold off on the passenger side. What else we did, Cody? I think we got some connections undid. Yeah. The alternator is un undid. No two <clears throat> yeah, the O2 sensors are taken off in the back, unclipped. Yeah. And uh, now we're... We undid the, uh, the steering oh, shaft. Oh, yes. The steering shaft is a, is a knuckle, right, where it meets the gearbox. Yeah. We undid that. We haven't removed it, but we, we loosened up the screws and got that ready, prepped. Yeah. And we had to call the night because the mosquitoes was coming out. And they were biting like crazy. And we was like, nah, gotta cut it. It was getting late. So, now we're back at it again tonight. And now we're gonna go for the driver's side. Driver's side. So, we're getting at it. Oh, and also, Miller Drift Team, baby. That's right. Yes. $15. Go, go watch them videos too. Support this man and his race yeah. car. Getting it, getting it. He's all, brah, brah. Well, no, it's his hand because we're in America. Brah, brah. Anyway, I'll get the point. We'll holler back at y'all. Peace. All right, so update. We got the steering shaft completely out. It's in the back. We have the driver's side. Uh, you can't see because it's dark. Driver's side manifold all off. Uh, all the nuts are out. Now... We're gonna come back. It's too late now. We're gonna cut it. It's like what nine? Just after nine. We're gonna call it a night. But we're gonna come back and uh, get after that driver's side manifold. And in the video, you'll see we'll come back. It'll be daytime. I'm not gonna upload this little two minute. But anyway, yeah. So driver drive shaft, uh, steering shaft is out. Driver side manifolds out. I mean, ready to come out. And. Uh, then it's putting the turp skis in. Or we're gonna try to fit them, see how that goes. So we may not have to pull the motor. We said we we're gonna pull the motor, we may not have to now. I don't know. It changes different from video to video. We've never done this before, so we're just we're going by playing it by ear. So anyway, alright, I'm tired. Cody's ready to go, you gotta work tomorrow. So alright, well we'll see y'all uh when we come yes. back. Yeah, we'll see y'all when we come back. Peace. What's up, y'all? All right, we're back. So today is Thursday. Thursday evening. We're back out here on the old 350Z. Uh, just a recap. Last time I checked in, we had got the driver manifold all unscrewed, unbolted. And we had the... Cody had actually climbed in and got the steering shaft all taken out of the car. So that had to come out so we can have room to snake the the manifold out and then back in. So I guess right now what we're gonna pick up on Cody is just taking that manifold out, huh? We're gonna try to snake it out. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get after it. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, y'all. So ta-da! Got the driver's side manifold off. Now we gotta get on and get the turbo in with the turbo manifold. Now, Cody said it looks pretty clean I need there. It's all open. We had to snake it out of there just so, but it came out. So, that's that right there. Put that off to the side right there. There you go. Out. All right, well, come back in a little bit. Alright, so now we're going to get these injectors. We're going to give it a shot. Got the injectors in this box right here. Cody's getting all this prepped and ready. One, two, three on each side. So, we're about to get after it. We'll put you on a time lapse so you can see us in uh, super speed. Peace.
So we got the fuel rail off. Injectors are chilling. Old injectors. We haven't pulled them out yet. Got this. All these little seals situated. Don't want to lose them. We're going to put this bad boy off to the side. And we're going to pop these injectors out. Put the new ones in. So back at it. into a little issue I don't know if you can tell on the camera but these injectors have a little bit of wiggle room and the stock ones sit all the way all the way to the metal like they, they sit in there really good and tight but these have just a slight gap and as far as we can push it down so I don't know if it's we don't know if they're trusted or not. It's aftermarket injectors, but still, I mean, does that mean it's for the, it's came off of another identical motor. I don't know. So anybody knows in the comments, let us know, because we're both baffled on this one. That's weird. It seats in there, it, it pops in. That's as far as they'll go. You see the, the factory one drops right on it. See? Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, so got the injectors in there. We uh, we're just gonna send it. Talk to a buddy of ours, a mechanic, and we seem to believe this is gonna work. Um, obviously, it's not gonna be the same as factory because these are aftermarkets. So. Now what we're going to do is put the injectors in like so in the fuel rail and we're going to try to we're going to drop it in as one unit and then uh, we're going to bolt it down and that'll be in there. So I'm going to put you on the time lapse and we're going to get that back installed. <laughs> Well, we're gonna call it a night. It's uh, nine something. Nine thirty. Yeah, nine thirty. So where we at now? We got the fuel rail injectors and clips all back installed, and we got all the holes for the exhaust manifold and stuff with towels and. That's pretty much it. Um, we didn't get a whole lot done. We've been fighting with this, so sorry about that. But hey, we're one more step closer, right, Cody? That's right. Yeah, a little at a time. Anyway, well, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, give a thumbs up if you like this video. Or subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, you might want to subscribe if you're interested in this build. Keeping uh, keep up with this going on, Twin Turbski. On the 350Z. Now, Cody, uh, these injectors we just put in, these are 725s. 725s, and uh, that's a big, big step up. So this thing's gonna be getting it. But like I said, anyway, we'll catch y'all in the next video, and be sure to.
go in the description i have a link to cody's channel go check out his videos he's doing updates too as well so he's throwing out little updates here and there and uh yeah man so peace out catch y'all next video